everybody. It's your boy Nick with Keep Believing Fitness. Wanted to say first off off the bat, sorry for the week-long wait of videos. I've had a lot of stuff going on. I had to finish finals and a couple other things with some personal friends of mine that were going through a couple, a couple of difficult times. So now I'm back on the video tip and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people wonder, a lot of people ask me constantly is creatine and a subtopic of creatine, should you cycle it? A lot of people think you should cycle it, especially when they read the label, and it says on there, you should only cycle this for a couple months and then stop it and get back on it. And this could not be farther from the truth. If you're taking creatine, you should not cycle it, and there are a number of reasons for that. First off, it takes a number of months for you to actually see a difference in the creatine by taking it. So if you only take it for two months and then you stop, you're not going to see any changes in your body and your strength at all at that point. And that's why a lot of people wonder, you know, why is my creatine not working for me? That could be the answer to your problems is you're not taking it long enough to see any long-term effects. You need to be on it for at least, in my opinion, four, five, even six months to start to see a change in your, in your performance. And what it's really going to do for you is in the long term add a couple more reps to your strength lifts, okay? There's studies that have been done out there where, you know, there's a placebo group where they're not taking creatine versus the group that is taking creatine. And in the long run, the group that was on creatine was shown to have increased their reps by about 10 more than the group that wasn't taking creatine in the long run. That's the key thing to, to realize here is that creatine is a long-term substance. So if you're only on it for a couple months, like I said, not going to see any effects. You need to stay on it for a number of months to notice changes and that's why you shouldn't cycle it. B, another reason is, it's a naturally occurring substance in your body. It's synthesized in the body, it's in plenty of the food that we eat, especially red meats and stuff like that, so it's not a substance you need to worry about having any effects of. Side effects, that is. I know a lot of people used to think that creatine affects the kidneys and with plenty of research done, that was disproven. Creatine does not have any long-term side effects that could be harmful to your body. It has been proven. It is one of the most researched supplements out there, so I can be, assure you that taking creatine is not going to affect your health in any way. Like I said, it is synthesized in the body. It's in what we eat. So taking it is not going to make a difference. And to go along with that is the whole loading phase. Okay, this all is a huge umbrella topic, but I know you look at the label and it says to load 20 to 25 grams of creatine a day for about a week. And let me tell you right now, do not do that. That is the biggest mistake you can make when taking this. Okay? They tell you to do that because that way you go through almost all of your creatine in that week and now you have to go out and buy more. Okay, that's the way their supplement companies force you to use more of their product for no reason so that you have to go and buy more. Okay, all you need to do is take five grams a day every day. Do not load your creatine. That'll do nothing for you. There's no known benefits for loading other than just blasting through all your creatine and forcing you to spend more money. It's just the way the supplement companies get the people that don't know and they think about the product to buy more. So do not load your creatine. Do not worry about cycling it. It occurs naturally. Just take five grams a day, maybe up to seven or eight grams a day if you're a little bit bigger person, but stay between five to eight grams a day and you'll be good and make sure you take it for a long term before you try to realize if you've seen any side effects or any good gains in that department. Because if you only wait a couple months and you're like, oh, it's not working, give it some time and just relax, 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 let it do its thing, and you'll be good. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. Shout it out to your friends. Other than that, always remember, never give up because nothing can stop you from succeeding if you just keep believing. Peace.